Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. It is 9.31 on a Monday morning. I'm on my way to the Women's Health Center. I did get a call back, however, about my mammogram. And um, just a few things they said they spotted. <clears throat> well, mass. Two masses. Um, must be very smaller. I'm not sure, but on each breast or whatever. And um, so I'm going to have an ultrasound to see about it. I know I'm good. I trust God. God comforted me. Um, they let me know just right before I was boarding the plane to go to Atlanta. Um, I had got that call. And as you can see, you know, the night of a uh, Queen's release party or whatever, I was in good spirits, you know, because I know God got me. And so also when I got back home, I'm not going to lie, it, 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 it did kind of, it didn't mess up my 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 trip or whatever but it was in in my mind you know we could think we host things don't bother us but subconsciously you know what i'm saying they do and um so it just affected it slightly you know but i thank god that i know him you know and so when i um got some mail like later on that week it was um the letter in stating that i needed to come in or whatever but you know it just said that also in the letter that you know i had a uh, fibroglandular um density or whatever in both breasts or whatever and that um but that it's not uh i'm basically low risk cancer for you know low risk at breast cancer so um, it was a comfort, you know, the letter that I have inside the letter. I was like, well, thank you, Jesus, you know, because even though I still had to wait a whole week to go to this appointment, um, God sent some comfort, you know, to ease my mind or whatever. So I thank and praise God for that. But I'm on my way up here. I was supposed to swoop my mom and, um, you know, she wanted to come with me and support me. And, um, so I told her that, uh, you know, I think I might be late because I had, what I did was, uh, I re rescheduled it and, um, I was going to go in at 18. So my mom called and was like, are you up? And I was like, I rescheduled it. She's like, I don't think that's something you should just wait on. Go ahead and get that out the way. So you can get your, your ultrasound, get your results and move on as far as your breast surgery and get it on, get it done, you know? So that motivated me. So I thank God for my mom. Put on um, calling this morning and get me out the bed because y'all it's one of them it's a monday and <laughs> and it's that that woman time and you know what i mean and it's tiresome i'm very tired around that time of the month so yeah i had to get on up and get motivated i haven't even had no morning coffee i ain't tripping though i'll get it after the fact but yeah, so y'all just know that God is in control of everything. Everything that happens. He I'm not gonna say God does bad things, but God does allow bad things to happen. But we also have to have the faith and trust and know that He has us, especially the saints of God. I'm sorry. I know he, he reigns on the just as well as the unjust, but when you are under the umbrella of safety of God, he keeps us. And he keeps us in perfect peace, too, also whose mind is stayed on him. So I thank God this morning just for him being my father, just for him being the God that I serve. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't got to run to him because I think I'm in trouble. I'm already his. I belong to him. There used to be a bad feeling back in the day when I was in my backslider mode where I just run to God. All the whole time, I was out there having me a good time. As soon as you have a chest pain, you call on Jesus. All of a sudden, you holy. You know, <laughs> a lot of us, we, we, you know, we guilty of it. You know, we know, you know how you be doing things. But 
yeah, I just thank God that I already know him. I already serve him. I already love him. I already, you know, I'm already on his team. I'm already on his side. So when things go down, you know, um, that we think that's life threatening or any anything, any problem, any trial, any tribulation, that um, we're we're you know, I'm good. I ain't gotta panic because God got me and He take care of His. He really does. So, anyways, my arm getting tired from holding up this camera, y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned. So right now I'm just sitting in the hallway. Wait, no, my mom. I didn't want to just go in the, enter the building without just her waiting on. I feel like she came up here for nothing. I'm already in there, but I can't wait too late or whatever. I got to sign in or whatever. I look horrible, y'all. My face is like on swole mode. I'm bloated. It's just, ugh. It's not a good sight. Well, they took several pictures and images. And I'm just aggravated this round because it hurt it. And um, waiting for the doctor to read the images and then uh, bring me back. And let, I'll let you know from there what's going on. It was just painful. I'm aggravated anyways. I'm just aggravated. I don't know. I think it was about ten images. I don't know, probably more than that. Maybe fourteen images, like they had to do all together. Then I don't know. I might have to have an ultrasound after this, so we just see. Depends on what the findings are, what the readings are. The doctor says um, they'll see. And, but anyway, yeah. Long story about the camera, but I'm gonna have to get another one. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's just the time, y'all. They say I'll be here two hours, so I don't know why I'm not, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you know, I don't know why I expect it sooner. They told me what to expect, so I still trust God, y'all. God's got me, so all is well in my spirit, you know. Thanking and praising God. I always ask that He go before you and go with you. He got the situation, I trust him. So I just completed the ultrasound and I'm more aggravated because they had to press and put gel. It was cold in there, the table was hard. I was laying on my back. Lord, I ain't trying to complain, Lord forgive me, but man, I'm glad I'm getting this over with y'all because I almost called this appointment off and put it to the 18th, but God is good. She just came and told me that everything's good, of course. I knew that. A little uh, on the right side, it's a little lymph node. It's not, um, it's benign or whatever. She want me to come back in um, six months just to check. But everything is good. Thank you, Jesus, which I knew. Hallelujah. All praise, honor, glory to God. Lord, I thank you and I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. I just told her about I was having breast reduction. So she wants to go ask the doctor to make sure that I'm clear so we could go ahead and go through with the breast reduction surgery. And that's what we're waiting on, so. Thank you, Jesus. Is your surgeon here? Um, actually, yes. Okay, so she said what you should do is follow up with the surgeon. She'll put in the report, they'll get the report. She said, if they wanted to, we could localize it prior to you having surgery, meaning we would do, they would just put a needle in it under mammogram because I, I didn't see it under ultrasound. Okay. And then we would remove it that way. So she said, just depending on what the surgeon wants, you know, we don't want to have you to hold up your surgery for six months. Okay. Um, for that. So just follow up with them and then we'll, they'll, they'll coordinate and decide what they want to do. Okay. Okay. So and I need to call so them. I'm happy with that. My daughter had a Really? You are going to be uh, thrilled to death. I okay. can tell you. Okay. But what was your question? I'm sorry. So it was, uh, yeah, so I just basically need to call them and be yeah, like. Yeah, just, um, are you, do you have a follow-up appointment with them anytime or? No, I have a follow-up appointment with my doctor over here at the Riker. Okay. Um, but no, not with them. Just, they were just waiting on me to say I'm ready. Okay. So you've had your consultation and all yes. that jazz. 
Yes. So I guess what I would do, I'd give them just a couple of days to get this report and everything, and maybe go over and then call them and tell them that you had your mammogram and if, if what do they want to do as far as the little mass that we found and how they want to handle Carol, that. Use. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So you're going to get changed in there. And then when you're done, go down that way. Okay. Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. To you. Thank you. Thrilled. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. So y'all heard, and um, like I said, everything is clear. They just wanted me to get a checkup in six months, but due to the surgery, just wanted me to do a follow-up breast reduction with my uh, the doctor, the surgeon that's going to do the breast reduction and make sure that, you know, to see what they want to do, basically. So, yes. I'm going to go get my clothes on, and I'm going to go ahead and end out this video, but I want to say, y'all, let me, let me tell y'all something. This has been hard for me. I, I I kept the faith, and I and I stayed strong, and I trusted God. But this was this is scary for me. I'm not gonna lie. The mammogram, I had put it off, like I said, for five years, and um. But I'm glad that my mother pushed me to go through with it because y'all woke up this morning and canceled this appointment, and was like, let me come in the 18th. And my mom had called and was like, let's get up, let's go, let's get it out the way. Come on, you got a breast reduction to do. Don't put it off and. You know, just go ahead and get it done. So I'm here, and it's over. And I thank the Lord that um, I'm I'm good, y'all. If you ain't got to do nothing to yourself, just d d just leave yourself alone. But as far as these big breasts is concerned, I can't wait for this journey, y'all, to be over with. Y'all just be thankful for what y'all got. If you A cup, B cup, C cup, whatever you is, thank God for it. I know. Some women want larger breasts, so I'm not going to speak for that, for the ones that want larger breasts, because I don't know how it feels to have small breasts. You know, they may be the opposite feeling of me to feel how I feel to have big breasts to want to go to smaller breasts. Just the weight that I carry in the back, how my back hurts and everything, you know. But if you got some nice size breasts already and you just want some big dolly partons, you know, you just... Thank God for what you got, you know. They sit up nice and look nice. Y'all, be thankful for what God gave you. I'm, I'm so serious. I put this weight on and it actually made my breast, I don't know, elongated and big and it runs in a family like I said, but I'm just thankful. Y'all, I'm so thankful. I just want to let y'all know, you know, be encouraged and like hold your head up and keep God first, you know, and trust him, trust him because my outcome every time is always good with God. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I know him. I'm thankful that he's my God. And uh, I just want to end out this video on that note. I want to tell y'all peace out in Jesus name. Be blessed.